John Ken Show. John Cobalt and Ken Shampoo. Can I ever get an email from uh, a website like JustMugShots.com? They even will send you a message. We believe you have a right to be informed. The right to high-quality, accessible information about the arrests in your area. To know if your neighbors or even your son's Little League coach has been arrested. Uh, there are a number of these sites. We're mentioning just mugshots.com because they've been sued. It appears that some of the people whose mugshots have been up there, and they were legitimate arrests, like the case of Zim Rogers, who works in global securities. He said he was fired after a cursory Google search turned up an 11-year-old mugshot in records in Florida of an arrest on suspicion of drunk driving and driving without a license. Charges that were later reduced to misdemeanors and dismissed. Dismissed? Yeah, I, well, that's what happened with the charges, yeah. So so, so he gets fired for charges that were dismissed oh, from 11 years ago? I guess because he didn't admit to his bosses when they asked, maybe in the application, have you been arrested or have you been... I guess, boy, that's boy, that's such a squirrely position for be for, to, to be in. You know, you, you screw up and you go crazy one night, right? Now, yeah, eleven and then years they later, ask you, and if you tell them the truth, you're screwed. If you lie, you're screwed, because now you have all these morons run, running these websites and they're mining through all these public records. And I, apparently, to get your, I mean, your, to get your mugshot removed, you have to pay them. Yeah. Okay. But, but he like said the, he spent two thousand dollars to remove the photo from other websites. Including, he says, three hundred dollars paid to JustMugshots.com. dot com. Well, that's extortion. Well, that's what the lawsuit claims that under California's uh, codes, uh, its civil code, it alleges that the practice misappropriates people's likenesses for commercial gain. There was a guy doing that on one of those revenge porn sites, right? Some jackass boyfriend puts sex videos of he and the oh, ex and then you want him down, you and then the pay. girl the girl has to pay to get him off. But then all these sites they copy one another, so there's there's could be hundreds of thousands of copies of the pictures all over the place. Yeah, it's, it's just really what a ridiculous world we're in now. I mean, there's just nothing you can keep quiet, keep secret, and forget about. Well, there's all these there's all these like grave they're like grave diggers. It's the wonder of the internet age. While it can do marvelous things and give us more information right, than we could he, ever have imagined, it also allows but, people like this to think of ways to make money. But uh, that's earlier we were talking about very morally a, questionable. We were earlier we were talking about somebody teacher who had had was caught downloading porn in in school, and he can't get fired, right? Because the the teachers union fought it. So this guy is getting rehired as a teacher, even though he was downloading porno in a school. He gets fired. This guy has a drunk driving arrest from 11 years ago that was dismissed. He's the one who loses his job. I mean, there's just no, there's no justice. It's just it's all well, so random. Now you probably should tell the truth if you're asked on an application, because with all these websites out there collecting old mugshots, if your company decides to go take a look. They're yeah, going to find out but, anyway. But doesn't that doesn't that eliminate you immediately? Because now every you know every company, especially through these internet resume sites, every company is deluged with like hundreds of resumes. And so you know that human resources drone sitting in the cubicles looking at the big stack. And what are they going to do? First thing they're going to do. All right, I got 400 resumes here. I'll eliminate you know 52 by just looking for criminal records. Right, those get tossed. It doesn't matter. Felony, misdemeanor, dismissed, blah, blah, blah. It well, yeah, matter. they'll profile like you do. Then if somebody's arrested, they probably did something bad. And maybe they did other things right. bad they weren't arrested but, for. I don't want to deal with them. Boom. Right. Oh, right. you're right. In the garbage. Right, exactly. So why would you put that down? I mean, you figure you can just get away with it. It was 11 years ago, dismissed, maybe in another state. Nobody's going to know. Oh, well, because if you don't put it down and they do a search after you're yeah. hired. They... Yeah, because Mr. Mugshot now, some, some vulture feeding off uh, people's uh, past... Oh, you know what happened to this guy? Uh, he had the job for a while. And back in 2010, he thought he was going to get a promotion. And I guess they decided in an effort to determine whether or not I should get the promotion just to do more looking into his background. And they found the mugshot and they fired him. <laughs> they didn't even So ask. he went from thinking he was going to get promoted to getting fired. Uh, that's those jackasses. My people are just really awful. <laughs> really awful. All right. When we come back. It's, it was a bad day on January 1st when City of Los Angeles residents have to deal with the plastic bag ban. Now, guess what? As early as next year, the year 2015, we may all have to deal 
with a plastic bag ban. California.